Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cardboard Lord YouTube channel and today we've got something real special if you don't know the AFL have their own cards and these are like the like press they're called like footy stars prestige right prestige they're like just hobby packs and like all the cards are uh, like foil sort of thing so it's like an optic for a basketball sort of thing optic or prism I guess but it's for Australian rules football. I know that nowhere else in the world plays this game like full on like we do here in Australia. That's why it's called Australian rules football, obviously. But um, yeah, for all my Australian viewers, you're going to love this one. Not sure about the rest of you guys. And um, after this whole coronavirus pandemic theme above, it's gotten a lot better in Australia here. So, uh, yeah, the footy season actually starts this weekend, or might be last weekend, depending on where I upload this video. But, um, yeah, let's just get into it, I guess. Um, yeah, well, oh yeah, we'll have a look at the, uh, says it very clearly on the packs. Focus it out a little bit there. So, we obviously want the showstoppers. They're one in 288 packs. Jesus, crazy. But yeah, there's die cuts, red parallels, uh, engine rooms, green parallels, Brownlow votes and stuff like that. Brownlow vote is like MVP. And the car's just like randomly inserted in the middle, so we'll go through the rest of them. because And they stick together. Oh my god. West off, ew. <laughs> and Ryan Clark, and we have a Nick Vlunston. That's just a die cut, yeah. From the Richmond Tigers. Meh. That's okay, I guess. Jeremy Howe from Collingwood. Oh, they stick together so bad. Tom Stewart. Ah, who else we got? Adam Kennedy from the Giants, okay. Nothing really of importance there, I guess. This is okay. I'll just leave that there. Hopefully the camera doesn't mess up. Straight him up. All right. We've got the bond on top there. Oh, my greasy finger marks. No. Oh, my God. These cars are too shiny. Jake Stringer, a.k.a. The Package. The two cards? No. Jake Kelly for the Crows. Is the good card stuck on the back? Where's the good card? Hey, we've got Cripsy. That's alright though. No good card. So there's just packs where they have nothing in them. Where does it say that? It doesn't. That's ridiculous. Well, we're Dana Rich. Haynes is okay, I guess. The Bont, that Patrick Cripps, very beautiful. Good player, good young player. Still have no West Coast team. Oh, there we go, we've got Dockers on right there. I was going to say, we've got no West Coast teams. I mean, yeah. Jack Higgins, Lachlan Murphy. Oh, there's a <laughs> Gary there. Jeremy Howe, Red Parallel. I believe these are numbered. Yeah, one, 122. I haven't even been looking at the camera to see if it's focused. Sorry, guys. 122 of 170 there. Be good if it wasn't a Collingwood player, but, you know. Collingwood equals, like, the most hated team, pretty much. Like, collectively. Mark Murphy. Goey. Yeah, crap. Wilson, a little ding in the corner there, not cool. Yeah, but um, I'm a West Coast Eagles fan because I live on the West Coast here in Australia, and we haven't even pulled one single West Coast Eagles card yet, so that's good. But I've recently been uh, joining Facebook groups and such to like try and get into the Australian rules football card. Training scene, I guess, because a lot of people do like breaks and stuff. 
Oh, there we go. Let me just give you a little bit of a clean there, mate. Beautiful. Yoey. Elliot, yo. Great player for the West Coast Eagles. Hep. Heppel. For Essendon there. Very cool. Trent Cochin, captain of the Tigers there. Norton. Idiot, to be honest. Pal Pepper. That's all right. Some people like him, I guess. Ben Brown, Tasmanian guy. And Jacob Hopper and David Swat. Cool. That Yoey, obviously, is probably the best card, to be honest. <laughs> For me, anyway. All right, so we've got three packs here. We'll open up some random-ass stuff afterwards if my battery doesn't die on the camera. We'll see how we go. Oh... Here we go. Mitch Wallace. Dylan Clark. Oh, there we go. In here. Jeremy McGovern for the West Coast Eagles. Andrew McGrath for the uh, Essendon Bombers there. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Zach Fisher's not bad. He's a good young player. Um, yeah, Andrew McGrath. Pretty good player from what I've seen. Not too bad at all. This, of course, is numbered out of 170, I think it was. Yeah, so it's 100 out of 170. I'll show you the back of the cards. So we've got disposals, tackles, marks, handballs, kicks. These are just some of the stats, I guess. Obviously, you can go to the AFL site or whatever. Give us a bit of information and stuff about him there. That's pretty cool. Oh. Packs are a bit weird to open. But uh, apart from that, great product. Look how shiny they are. Don't tell me this is one where we get nothing again. Great. Okay. Mitch Robinson on the end. Crazy guy. Okay. I'd suggest for all the non Australian viewers. Go on YouTube and just search AFL highlights, tackles, whatever you want to, whatever you want to type up, because I think it's one of the best sports. Obviously, you got your like football, as in NFL, soccer, basketball, like baseball, NHL, all that stuff, you Americans and stuff, but um. No, this is our sport, you know, something that's always dust them on there. Something that's always been always Australian. Warpool. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And to get a West Coast player as probably the best card we have, I think. Oh, no, it's out of 200. It's not the best card. But it's the best card for me. 2009, wait, no, it's out of nine, that's right, it's a nine out of 200, sorry, that's sick, that is so cool, Woo! Danger, Thomas and Blakely, yeah, cool, that is a beautiful looking card, let's get that in the sleeve right away, a little bit bent, not a fan of that, but um, maybe put it between some books or something. Trying to straighten that out. So we've got a bunch of uh, like the shiny base cards, which I like the design of the base cards, how they are shiny. Like we don't normally get that unless you buy like the premium product, which this is for this, and it's just not expensive as basketball stuff. So we've got an Elliot Yo, 150 game milestone, round 20 in 2019 there. Jeremy Howe, Red Wave, kind of Andrew McGrath, sorry. Both out of 170, those ones. This one's out of 200. And these are just die cut inserts. Foily. They're not numbered or anything. Yeah. But we didn't get a uh, one of the big hits or anything like that. But it's decent. It's decent. Just want to look at these. Yeah, milestone games, one in every 12 packs. And we only opened seven. So I guess that's not too bad. All right. 
Let's switch to a different kind of football. Let's just open one of these pieces of garbage sticker packs. Don't know how I came to have these, but I like soccer, but this is just garbage. I want to get, we're going to get some actual soccer packs one day, guys. One day we're actually going to get packs of soccer cards. David De Gea in the foil there. That's sweet. Norris. Oh, we didn't get a stadium in this one. I thought everyone came with a stadium. Oh, well, we've got two Sheffield players, one from Norwich, one from Villa. But that shiny David De Gea is beautiful. Fun fact. Read it there. Very nice. Um, What else we got? Oh, yeah, let's go on. Let's open these. These have been sitting on my desk for ages. If you've watched my recent pickups video that was released ages ago, these were in the, just the random vintage packs. Like, autograph Shaquille O'Neal and Ken Griffey Jr. Just random. Death Watch. I've never even heard of this at all. From 1992, guys. It's getting a bit bright in here. The sun's shining through my window. It's a great day. Beautiful day, guys. Beautiful day. So I know these are like, yeah, they're like comic book cards, right? Yeah, and you can just get random ass sport inserts or something. Like, how cool is that? Okay. What are these? Oh, they're kind of stuck together. They are from the 90s. No idea what these are. Maybe it's a TV show or something. Dinosaur Terror, okay. Focus here, there we go. Dinosaur Terror. <laughs> what are these? I have no idea what these are. These are so confusing. Well, that's got a, like a black and white thing on it. Is it just an insert? What is this stuff? You can subs subscribe to get a limited edition Shaq poster. Join the collector's club. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll go do that. Just let me get a time machine back to the 90s. Random ass cards. Got like crap on them and stuff. I have no idea. These are so weird. We can't end on this. This is horrible. Thought, oh yeah, these will be cool. Nope, no idea what these are. Not sure if any of those have any value. I'll Google them later and put a price on the screen. Or if they're worth nothing, put something here. There you go. Cool, well that was absolutely amazingly exciting. No, we don't want to open one of them. What else we got? We've got some magic packs. Do you guys want to see that sort of stuff? We'll go for a guilds pack. See if we can get a shocky, shock land, or something, something, something. Yeah, these are on special five bucks somewhere. I can't remember where I got them. Bird illusion, wave, beast. Oh my god, focus. Probably half this video is probably out of focus because I'm not paying attention. Whisper agent, good no Demir deck, but that's about it. Hide poisoner, guild mage. Hey, we got Niv Mizzet. Golgari Guildgate. Niv Mizzet. Yeah. This Niv Mizzet, not worth anything. Like, literally nothing. But, um, no, it's a cool card. That's pretty cool. And I'll show you this. I've got this as well. I've been building these nano block things. Here's a, um, a Chansey <laughs> that I built the other day. These things are so weird. Here's an Espeon, five bucks, what a bargain. I'll be building that. We'll show you guys in the next video, I guess. Oh, there's just so much crap. I wanna open some more stuff. Let me see what else we got. Don't mind the noise. We'll open one of these. Cosmic Eclipse Packs. It's like surgery taking them out of here. Stupid cardboard. Cosmic Eclipse pack. 
Oh, the glue on here is mod. Okay. Whoop. Make sure you guys don't see the code card there. I completely forget about it. it's got code cards in it. Okay, there's the code card for you guys back home. And we'll go one, two, three. Is it four? I'm gonna I don't know. No idea. Daytrix. Flower. Whatever that is. Cosmog. Such a cutie. Psyduck. Big headache. Trapinch. Oddish on drugs looking like. Misty and Lorelei. Tag team. And we've got a Buzzwall. Oh, there is energy. A Buzzwall. Holographic. We've got the Ultra Beast on there. He's a hype beast. Oh, that's pretty cool. Damn, he's shining. That's cool. That's not a bad card. Sweet. Um, what else can we open? Yeah, let's open one of these. Sure. This is turning into one of those videos. Let's open a little bunch of crap. Focus. No. On the cards in front of you. There we go. Relic. Really nothing that fun in here until we get to the back. Dead Man's Chest. Definitely a ripoff of Pipes of the Caribbean. Yeah, when it dies, you get stuff. Yeah, cool. I thought they were the same card then. No, it's just another pirate in foil. And we've got a dinosaur. Of course we've got a dinosaur. Cool looking planes there with like a statue. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, this card is not worth anything, but that's pretty cool. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bit of a stranger video. Obviously, the footy cards. Cool footy over here. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Obviously, I love footy. It's back this weekend. Come on, West Coast. And, um, yeah, I hope you all staying safe. And, uh, yeah, see you later. Like and subscribe. And uh, check out my Instagram at the Cardboard Lord. See you later, guys.